All right. Oh, good lord. Oh, that is a miss with your short sword with advantage. That is a miss oh against God. the lizard folk. Yeah, they're using. They're the ones that are using the, the shields. Son of a bitch. Yeah. I have it, to take everything as off. As it hisses at you. God damn it. <sighs> that sucked, man. So anticlimactic. Mm. It was actually. All right. Anything else for you? You got a little bit of movement. My so offhand. You're, you're offhand. That's a hit. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, my. You, you still hit. You would still hit with a. You would still hit with advantage. Yeah, so. I did. I hit him. And um. Yeah, you hit him. So I think that's it. You can. Do, you're still gonna get a uh, a crit because, if I'm not mistaken, you're assassinate. Let's uh, let's check out assassinate, shall we? Well, yeah, it doesn't have to be the first time. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, even, okay. Let's Just check it one out. per yeah. round. Yeah, you're the deadliest when you. So you have advantage on attack rolls. Purel against any creature that has not taken a turn in a combat yet. So okay. it's attack rolls. So, so your okay. your primary so get to do... yep, you get to roll another attack just to make sure that uh, you don't crit. Because you didn't, I don't think you rolled your offhand roll with advantage, did you? No. Alright, roll it one more time to make sure that you uh, didn't crit. Well, it really doesn't matter because you're going to do crit damage anyway. So just go ahead and just yeah. go ahead and hit the hit the crit, and you can put on sneak attack also. And you're going to get all that damage. Thing. Nope, uh, it's no, off. It's not. Yeah, when you when you said uh, you don't have it on there. See, I have a clapper that I there installed the clapper plugin. I just clapped my hands and it took it off. So. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just, Funny. I'm just, just kidding. So you still get to hit him with your offhand with, uh, you know, just make sure you do the offhand there damage. There you go. Oh, nice. Uh, Fifty damage. Yeah. Offhand. This is just this red mist. Fifty damage. Boom. Yes, exactly. The lizard man literally explodes oh, as you run in. And with a like a whirling dervish, your first attack misses, but your second attack is very lethal, catching catching the the lizard man in the main artery, making him explode into a cloud of red mist. He is down. I mean, I've got like this look of euphoria oh, on my God. face. I mean, this is like better than sex for me. I mean, it's like all of a sudden all the blood just flies oh, everywhere. My. Careful, widow! Don't let it get to <laughs> oh, your wide open eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for you? What else? Don't make the teeth. floor slippery. You still have movement, uh, whatever you want to do. You can run right, and engage I'm, something I'm back else. I'm back out. Cal. What? Go after the pure blood. All right. Hell no. Pass it. Pass the puck on. Let's. Uh, Shrump is up. Getting up square. Oh, she know. loves to stand on the goddamn lines, doesn't I, I she? I noticed that. Jesus. <laughs> Tighten up over there. To the day, uh, to the day, where the hell is she standing? Uh, I shall rush in there with my great sword drawn and bring it down mightily upon my opponent's skull. I don't okay. roll for. The, do I roll with advantage? Uh, you will not because you do not have assassinate. You are. They were expecting you. I might. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you can do a just a regular roll. Wow, wow, you missed. You can have I'll assassinate, hit, but I, I want twenty armor class. Wow. You can have assassinate. Oh Your for God, love second, of God. Oh yes, this is a vicious lizard man. He is very, he is very defensively tacked. He's very defensively ready for you. I mean, he b takes both of your blows and just parries both of them away with his shield. Nice, nice job with the lizard man. Anything else Damn. for you? Go ahead and pass it. He was alerted by that lady to run in and kill the other guy. Yeah. Yes, and now I'm st I've got no support. Alright, so the lizard man takes his javelin and throws it at uh, Shrump. Missing Shrump. The lizard man then charges in and attacks you with his heavy club. 
and that is it for him and because he hits his friend in the face. <laughs> you know what? We'll give him a 50-50 chance. Let's uh, let's see. One to fifty, he one to forty-nine, he hit one, one to fifty. He uh, hits his uh, companion. Nope, he doesn't. Eighty-one, he just misses. <laughs> uh. Pretty cool little uh, little effect there. We'll see if he did, but uh, no. Lizard Folk Two, kind of chuckling at uh, at his companion there. He kind of says something in draconic to him and something, and then chuckles and then takes his shield and bashes you. Tries to bash you upside the head, and he misses. Then he takes his heavy no. club, swinging down on top of your head, and then he too. <laughs> oh God, God, also crit misses. <laughs> And then the lizard that is beside him, his buddy, says the same thing in Draconic, and then kind of chuckles at him. <laughs> now, next is uh, Tiberius. You're up. He's gonna char- Tiberius uh, is gonna charge in. And, going and, uh, in Tiberius. there. <laughs> you don't. Want, you don't want to go in. If Tiberius? you rush over and shut the door, I am going to be so angry at you. I'm just going to go. Uh, <laughs> Standing here in the back and uh, cheer with moral support. Crossbow. Use use your bow against the uh, the, the witch woman. I'm gonna spray the gun. Uh, yeah, I can try it. <laughs> but I'm going to stand in <laughs> in the corridor still. What happens if heroic now. adventurers? I don't have a more movement than that. <laughs> you crippled. Usually, I always, I only let. Uh, usually, I only, I don't like people to say, "Do this, do that" with your character. I don't usually don't like that, but Lord is uh, fairly new to D and D, so I allow them to give him hint or, you know, hints and. You know stuff like that. So, all right. So you are going to attack the the beautiful Yanti pure blood down there, Lord yeah. Acid. All right. Go ahead and attack her. That's a hit. As your crossbow bolt lodges into her into her shoulder region. Very nice damage. Eight damage to her. She <sighs> looks like you've got her attention. Anything else? Too Go bad it wasn't pass in it? your poop. Oh wow! <sighs> pass no, it that's to Vey. All. all right, Vey, you're up. Mm, all right. Let's see one, two. Uh, four spaces here to look into the room to see what's going sure. on. Yeah, you can see the. Uh, the half orc is engaged with a couple lizard men, and you can see another one of these Yanti purebloods in the southern portion of the room. And a lot of these pits, there's almost a, well, there's a dozen pits that are basically carved into the floor. What the hell they're for? You have no clue. But that is what I'm, you see. I've been very curious about the archaeo- uh, the uh, architecture of this tomb uh, to begin with, mm-hmm. but this room is really strange. It's mm-hmm. it's round, and yeah. it has these holes in the floor. Mm-hmm. How deep are these holes? You can't tell. Not from not from where okay. you're at. Right, right. Well, all right. Well then, I can I can observe and write to my book later. So right now I'm going to, I guess, I'll go ahead and assist Trump and attack the lizard guy right in front of him all right, with so a gonna... fire bolt. Okay, sounds good. I was, I was thinking of killing the uh, killing the witch woman. That acid spray of hers, poison spray, is really nasty. All right, well, you're attacking one, and I'm I'm of the belief that you take out one opponent and move to the next. Okay. That way you you mitigate uh, the damage by you know a third. By oh yes, I opponent. understand what you're saying. Yes. Besides, like she can't hit me with vision from there. I hope. Maybe she can hit me. Nice hit, your firebolt. <laughs> We're not worried about your 50 hit points. <laughs> <laughs> right. Four fire damage oh, wow, to the lizard man. Yeah. 
four four damage to the lizard man. You uh set him a singe for a couple seconds as he Goodbye, as he pats it out. Hey hey hey! Thanks for the follow, I'll, I'll Vash. Move from here. Vash well, sixty four stampede. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. If you guys haven't followed, please follow the channel yet. What is taking so long to follow the channel? Anything else for you, Mrs. Vay? No, right. I'm basically through a hot call only. That's about yeah. it. Yeah, the Auntie Pure Blood. She she moves up, and she sprays a stream of acid towards the half orc. Now, uh, you need to go ahead and do a Constitution saving throw for me, please, Shrump, and you can just drop that into the chat. That is a that is a successful constitution saving throw. Nighthawk, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks very much, guys. Ash, this is Fantasy Grounds. Fantasy they Grounds visual, visually grimaces at the, yes. uh, at the prophetic nature of everything happening. I, yeah, I need I need to see if this uh, if poison spray does half on a successful save. I don't think it does, but I want to double check. No. No, it doesn't. Move on. Move, move along. <laughs> There's <laughs> nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. Yeah, this is well Fantasygrounds. Yes, thank you very much. Fantasygrounds.com. Very, very awesome program. And hey. Thanks for the follow, Raw Mickey. Thank you very much. And if you guys uh, get involved with Fantasygrounds, please let them know that David from Tabletopping sent you. Tweet to them or post on their fantasy grounds. Uh, please let them know. All right, so poison spray is not any half damage. So okay, very good. I believe it's a cantrip, so it's probably why. Yeah, it is a cantrip. So no half damage. You will take no damage as you, as she overshoots you basically. And a huge pool of uh, of you know poison, very putrid smelling, sweet smelling poison lands at the feet of Tiberius and Vey, and you guys can smell the aroma of this poison. All right. A shrub just shrub looks at it glistening on his skin and just shudders <laughs> as the poison tries to enter his system, but fights it off with pure orcish uh, uh, constitution. Okay. I take a few steps here, kind of squeeze between Bay and Tiberius, sidestep my way around, shrunk there, and come eye to eye with this uh, um, female Yanti. You are. Tits okay, with the tits. <laughs> yes. And I say to her in Draconic, you know, I'm, I'm quite skilled with, with uh, plastic surgery with you bitches. What is this? And what do you speak of? I've never heard of such a thing. Oh, you haven't? Oh, well, let me demonstrate. And about that time, I basically performed the same maneuver that I did on the last one. Yeah. Let's see how this works. Fantasy Grounds, guys. Fantasygrounds.com. It is the only official D&D 5th Edition tabletop accessory. That's Very nice hit? hit. That is a hit. As you slash her. And Gasher. All right, uh, you do not nice get sneak hit. attack. That is not that attack does not qualify to get sneak attack. Oh, that's so right. Because he's will, not. All, he's uh, behind me. Yeah. I will take. Just uh, take uh, I will just take eighteen damage off of that. That was a nice try. Well, though. that sucks. That sucks, dude. Uh, that no. sucks. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, Tell yeah. you about Widow. Tell you about. Learn the D and D. Now yeah, learn to learn to D and D. Just well, uh, it is getting late. <laughs> it, it is. It will wrap this up after. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's after ten o'clock. Wow, what a marathon yeah. tonight! This has been awesome. So, all right, We've been so it's like four o'clock. I know. At this time, off of the the western wall, a sort of you know you 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 can tell that uh, this is the same type of technology as you can see the wall shimmer a little bit, and. The same Yanti appears that ran around the corner 
and appears through the wall and runs up and engages. No, actually, he's going to stay back here at the wall. My apologies. And I'm going to uh, attack Widow with my longbow. That's a mm, no negative modifier. Yeah, pick, oh, pick, tighten up, Dave. I thought I did. My bad on that. So let's yeah let's uh, let's get let's get going here, kind of speed this up a little bit. So my first my first bow attack on Widow, oh is a miss. The yes. second the second arrow he he releases is a fourteen, which yes. is also a miss. That is it for him. He is going to kind of run back a a little bit more deeper into the room. Round two. Widow, you're up, ma'am. I just went. Didn't but, but Widow just go. Went. Went. Ah, My turn. Up, Shrump, yeah. It's Shrump, go. Shrump, go. Yes, Shrump, let's go. Bash, bash, bash. Shrump, let's go. There you go, Shrump. Uh, thanks, darling. Yep, you guys make sure right, you bet on I'm this. I'm going to bring me great sword round, and I'm going to try and take his flipping head off. That's a That's hit. That's much better. Nice. That is a hit. That's oh, a good a hit. hit. That's, a, that, that's a man's hit. Ooh, so, alright, go ahead. If I'm that's a man's hit. hit, then what was the 50 damage I did last round? That's I called, didn't see that. I was that's called room. a broken 5th edition rogue class, maybe? Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry about <laughs> that. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, that stings, Dave. Let's go ahead and, and I'm gonna do it. Uh, damage on number two. Ooh, so we'll deduct two okay. from your deduct two from uh armor class. So we will have uh some damage given to the lizard man. He is in pretty bad shape. He is kind of floundering and staggering around. So anything else for you there, Shrump? Yep, I'm gonna hit him again with my great sword. Let's do it. That's a hit as well. Probably going to take this guy out. Oh, yeah, you decapitate um, the head. Smash, so smash please, the great sword. Straight please, through please his upright yourself. shield, straight into his shoulder, carving down towards his, his sternum. And his shield just splinters into hundreds of little bits of wood and, and like, large teeth, probably from a, a large beast or something. As the shield just shatters and your, your great sword just buries itself and splits him wide open. Can I can I move to there, Dave, without taking a attack of opportunity? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll yep. step to there. All right. And Ooh. grin bloodily at the at the other lizard man. All right. So the lizard man is going to bash you with a. Sh He's going to bash Widow first off, and bashes Widow. She takes a, a total of six bludgeoning damage, and then he turns to Shrump and tries to bite you. Oh, he almost bit you with a 19, but it rolled over on the 9. So he misses. That is it for him. Tiberius, what say you? Yeah, guys, bid on that uh, auction tonight because the game is going to be over pretty Shoot soon. Shoot the guy with the bow. And, Shoot the guy uh, with the bow. That'll be it for me. Say good night to the bad guy. Tomorrow we'll be back at 4 p.m. for Scales of War. Tiberius, what say you? Uh, what are you doing? I'm going to fire another arrow. Oh, okay. my. Shoot the guy with the bow. Alright, target away and, and shoot there, Tiberius. Alright, so you sh uh, shoot the Yanti uh, Pure Blood with a negative modifier because of uh, she's in the way still going to be hit with a with an 18 so go ahead and roll damage all right she takes uh takes 3 damage yeah all right anything else for you i can't shoot the novel thing though so yeah, you, that's you it yeah you don't get multi attack all right, so Vey, it looks like you're up. Pass it to Vey, and you get to go. All right. I'm going to attack the pure blood. Maybe it can kill her, and we can move on to the next one. All right. 
That's a hit on the pure blood. And your damage is nine fire damage. She takes the fire damage. She's in she's in a uh, pretty bad shape. Anything else for you? Any movement? Any bonus actions? Alright. No. Alright. I will go ahead and cast uh, one final poison spray on the half elf. She doesn't hey, like being can I do, slashed. Um, can I do uncanny candy dodge on spell? Uh, let's uh, Let take a look see. at it. I believe uncanny dodge is any damage, I think. When an attacker that sees you hits you with an attack, meaning any attack, you can use your reaction to have the attack's damage against you. So you can do that uh, you can do that once uh, once around as a bonus action, as long as you got your bonus action. But, uh, or is that reaction? Hold on. Reaction. It's a reaction, for sure. Oh, bonus action. Oh, bonus action. Yep, yeah, you don't have a bonus action because you used it for your offhand attack, so. Right. Okay. Alright, go ahead. Yep. So go ahead and give me a constitution saving throw. Ooh, that is a horrible. Yes, as the as the poison just coats you for thirteen poison damage. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> so, widow is now doused in this uh, putrid, sweet-smelling poison. It is as her your skin is burning, and your it's gotten into your eyes, and your nose, and your your mouth, your ears, gotten all over your face. Uh, Worse that it's in my hair. I uh, know. The Malison is also going to indulge by shooting his bow at you several times. First attack, missing. Second attack, goddamn fumbling. Alright, so that's it for the Auntie. So let's go next to round three. Widow, you're up. Can you recover from Finish, that? Finish, uh. Can you recover from that? Ten twenty. I got a s six and a half hour game. This has been so awesome. I'm not going after her. Ooh, you gonna? You're not going after the? What? Wow. Right. I'm not. I'm taking this one out because I I want to use the man? Okay. That's a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. All right, you total 27 points of damage to the lizard man as he right. basically explodes into a cloud of red red mist. I look at Trump and said, "That's how you hit like a man." All that's left are a pair oh. of legs. You've literally <laughs> exploded everything else, and then these these two <laughs> legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the boots have like half his leg, so about halfway up his mid thigh. Is where it's, it, it's just too, and then it just kind of falls over. You know, they become a little wobbly, and then the two legs fall over. Congratulations, mm -hmm. you, you exploded Damn. a lizard man again with your sneak attack damage. All right, uh, anything else for you? And then I'm going to turn to face her, and I'm going to be like, going to go ahead and, and hit her with the offhand. Right. And she complains about her offhand damage. Imagine that. I do complain about my outfit. It sucks. <laughs> oh my god, it's spicy. <laughs> oh, Ooh, wow. Uh, look at that. Look she at that. That she even hits with a three. You hit. Good lord. Oh my god. Four. Very good. My oh, magical hit. four points of damage. You hit with a three. Do you think that would hit you? Well, she's wearing nothing but titties. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Huh? <laughs> yeah, but against men, that's that's, <laughs> that's, that's, so well do, that's not good armor. Oh, no, actually, actually, she, this is the thing: women with 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 breasts like that, they're good defensive armor against male characters. Uh, right. I mean, I mean, I mean, we Willie would never be able to 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 to, to hit that. We Willie'd be trying to sleep with her right now. <laughs> exactly. Uh, he'd be, yeah, be trying to yeah. hit it a different way. Yeah, he would be. Head her up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, West. Okay, that's it for me. 
All right, uh, Shrump Ladon. Take Shr this bitch out, Shrump. Shrump on Shrump on a move. Two, six, uh, yes, four, six. Gets to there and strikes the Yanti Malice song with his great sword. Yeah, as you're getting as you're getting closer to him, his eyes will open up like, oh shit, why did I come back in here? And you, uh... Oh, Rodham you from hit. a 19 to a 16. I slice at his, at, his, at his lower leg, cutting deep into his calf muscles. As I bring the sword up, I swing it round and bring it straight back down again. And blood squirts and out. And hitting the ground beside him. Yes, as you crit miss. Anything else for you? Actually, no, there's nothing else for you because it goes on to Tiberius automatically. What say you, Tiberius? Yes. Minus two to your crossbow shots. You got targets in front of you. So put minus two in the modifier. Go target away and pop the... Pop, pull the trigger, Tiberius! You can hit the hit either of the women in front of you. It's fine. <laughs> Something coming for you, buddy. Look, I saved your life on those stairs, pulling you out and of you the way. You did, but I'm wondering if I have if assassin is working for me. Can I one shot Trump? You there, Tiberius? No. I just uh, did an attack on the. Uh, All right. Uh, I see. Uh, uh, sorry about that. I, I didn't hear you. You were quiet. So, uh, yep, you launch the the bolt. It hits the uh, let's see the Yanti Mouse and it hits with an 18 versus AC. You go ahead and roll damage. All right, you hit him for eight. Yep. Shrump, you also uh, didn't have. Uh, her targeted, so I need to add nine. Uh, him targeted, so I need to add nine more damage to him. You did not. Uh, oh, have sorry, yes, yeah, sorry, okay. dreadfully no sorry. All right, uh, Tiberius, that's it for you. Vey, you are up. I'm gonna try. Well, we're back to uh, the pure bullet. Something. Which I'm going to attack here. again with a firebolt. That's a hit. So roll a one. You'll hit these guys. All right. Wow, very nice. The 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 pure blood. You strike her in the chest with a with a firebolt, and she goes down. Anything else? For like any movies? movements? Yeah, I'm going to move in here, and I want to. I see that there's one more guy there, but I know he won't last long. Mm. So at this point, I'm going to start looking around the room, pull out my book, and start observing things. Okay. All right. So the Yanti tries to vacate. He's trying to escape again. So why don't you give me an attack of opportunity there, Shrump? This is the Yanti that doesn't die. Uh, no, I've got him, him again. Yes, and go ahead and roll damage. Oh, yes, and you, you basically hack his entire leg off as he runs past you trying to, you know, trying to get away again. And he goes down as you hack his leg off and basically just bleeds out. Blood, you know, blood going everywhere. All right, so you guys Excellent. are out of combat. Ooh. What say you? What are you guys doing? I want to, I want to check out what? this whole room. These what, yes. what are, what's in the holes? These, uh, holes, these the shafts, walls, everything. they're about three. Now, now, they're not square. They're actually cylindrical. And the shafts, they're three feet wide, and they're, you know, seven foot deep, and they're cut into the stone floor. And it, it, you can actually see that there are some belongings in each one of these holes. So this is basically sleeping holes for the auntie. And then you can see on the, on the south wall there are two, you know, two of these totems that are representing, you know, their deity and you know representing the serpent god loot the bodies loot the holes all right oh, i'm curious about the shape of the room also i mean is it like 
Oh, what do I know about this? I mean, it look, is it like a shape of an, of an egg or something? This makes them feel... No. Safe or whatever? No, you, you've noticed down here on this, this, this lower level of Diderius' tomb, you've noticed that a lot of these rooms are, are weird angles. On on the the top yeah. floor, you didn't get that. You know, every everything was nice and square or circular. Yeah, except yeah. for occasional room where yeah. the the walls were diagonal. Yeah, it seems like all the rooms here, you know, all the hallways are are all angular. Really, really weird angles. It's uh the same type of same type of architecture, just just super weird. All right, so I don't. I don't gain anything other than it's just weird. No, now, now you can give me a. Uh, you can sense that there's a an energy coming from these to these totems. You can feel that there is a. Oh. It's sort of like the the hair standing up on the back of your neck. Sort of like static electricity, it, and it's radiating from from these two serpent-like totems that are on the south wall. Oh, shit. May I investigate them? Or? You may with an arcane check, absolutely. Okay. Alright. Yeah, with wow. your arcane, no, it's still, I mean, it's still, you know, common DCs are only 10 to 12, so you're able to, you know, find out that this is not an arcanic type of magic. This is a radiant type of magic that paladins and clerics use, and the strange thing about this is you as you're looking at at all of the symbols and all the other iconage on these on these totems that this is probably to ward something off like some type of some type of rune or ward to deter something from coming in here obviously it didn't have a, an effect on you <laughs> but right. maybe maybe something else here in in the chamber or the tomb somewhere you know, in a couple of well, these, in a couple of these cylindrical shafts, there's there's also a couple have water in it for drinking, and some a couple of them are storing food. Uh, t Tiberius, uh, these totems seem to be a bit divine. Maybe we should take a look at them. Okay, I'm going up to to watch. Hey. Also, watch what does the, the ceiling totems? look like in here, Dave? The ceiling's about 15 feet high, just like the rest of the, you know, as you, as you guys remember, the, the, the ceiling and the descension to this area was 10 foot. But now that you're yeah, in this right. level, it's all 15 foot, from what you've seen so far. Is there some way I can, uh, that I remember something of, about symbols or anything? Uh, if you'd like to take a look, you can give me a uh, a religion check. <clears throat> when one person does a check, everybody starts to do checks. So it is, like I was saying, this it's, this is like the the serpent god of the Yonti. And, you know, coordinating with Vey, you can tell that this is a rune to ward off. And, and with you being a cleric, you know that this is to ward off some type of undead creature or undead creatures. And it's to ward off creatures in this room. So not only is it to, you know, you know, with your knowledge and and Vey's knowledge together, you you guys are able to both come up that yes, it's magical, it is magical runage, and it it is supposed to be warding off something, and it is undead that it's warding off because you can tell what the the symbols, which is actually what you would use for runes of warding also. Okay. Yeah, it kind of makes sense considering there is a a bit of undead up top. Oh, I wonder if there's more below. Wow. Oh, good. Something to look forward to then, isn't it? Now, something besides snake people. And lizards. I prefer snake people to undead people. 
Undead people are, are not natural. Trump, you're not too natural. I am natural. I'm as natural as you. <laughs> so what do you guys want to do? I think we need a long rest. I think we should fall back to the to the pool room, uh, bar uh, wedge the door shut, and uh, and take a long rest. I think. Yeah, it won't be beneficial, of course. It won't be, did you say? No, it would definitely be. It's a dangerous area. We may expect an encounter, but I think it's True, important that we do it. We've got the, those demons guarding the room to the south. We've got... We're, we haven't really done anything since we came, came into this team. It's been a long time. Wow. A long day. Exactly. We're actually almost done. <clears throat> so I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we can wedge the door shut quite easily, pick up some of the uh, weapons that, from the discarded enemies, what we can use to wedge the door shut. And then, and we can wedge the south, south door shut as well if we want. And then we can take a long rest, and 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 feel better after a bit of a bit of a bit of a snooze. Sounds logical. You guys want to kind of reinforce the door, prepare for uh, yeah. maybe listening for some. Okay, I I got it. I I can I can go with that. So you're gonna do yeah, all of shoes. the all of the different doors. Okay, all right. So that's what we will go ahead and do. We will start next Saturday. We'll we'll continue next Saturday with a rest. We'll do an encounter roll, and then if you guys are successful with no encounters, then you guys will be back to pretty much uh, full HP, full spells, and all your powers back and whatnot. So, hey, thanks for playing. Sorry, we played almost like seven hours, over six oh, and a half hours. Awesome. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. yeah, I like uh, I like the the new schedule is going to be much better. So it's going to allow us to play, you know, more. And then you know, once we once we finish that that fourth edition game on Sunday, then we'll just basically do Rise of Tiamat on Saturday and Sunday until we finish Rise of Tiamat. So. I think that would be a, a good idea to do. But it's up to you guys. If you guys yeah. want to play another game, then we can do that also. So, But it's up to you. The time hasn't come that to make that good. decision yet. So, but All right, thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I'll see you tomorrow.